Please take your Bibles and turn with me uh, in the book of uh, Leviticus, chapter 25. And stand with me as we read uh, where God set up the Jubilee. Leviticus, it's, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, third book in the Old Testament, and the four numbers in Deuteronomy. Leviticus chapter 25.
Black Ray Briar. They was grown up in Johnson grass. Now that had eroded away. And the preacher said, why did you show me that? And the farmer said, uh, that's God's land. <laughs> this is mine in God's land. The guy on the other side of the fence had not been a good steward to what God had given him. We understand that the monies that God gives us are given to us to be stewards over, caretakers over. We understand that the people that God introduces into our lives, our wives, our husbands, our children, <coughs> excuse me, our family, these are all people that he gives to us and we are stewards, we are managers, we are overseers of them. They do not, in the strictest sense of the word, belong to us. Jubilee points up to God's people then and now that we are just stewards, we are caretakers, and that what there is really belongs to God. Many of the old Western movies that, that uh, we like to watch from time to time uh, have the Indians. And the Indians are, are held up for, for praise because of their understanding that they did not have private ownership of the land that belonged to uh, to uh, God, uh, whereas uh, some of these money grubbing in, in the movie, uh, these, these money grubbers uh, uh, that were uh, wasting away the land thought that they had it and that they could control it, and it was theirs forever. It is a stewardship that God gives to us. Years ago, in our first church, we always uh, uh, acknowledged. We didn't celebrate it. But we always acknowledge soil stewardship day. Y'all remember that? Yeah, remember that? Uh, it's not as prevalent uh, today as it was at that time, I don't guess. Uh, but it's a reminder to us, uh, many in the church, uh, the people in that church were farmers, and many people in our church have farmers and have ties to the land. It was a reminder that we are to be good stewards of what God has given us. In the year of Jubilee, all debts were forgiven. In the year of Jubilee, if a person had uh, uh, run upon hard times, or even if they were not good with money, and they lost their inheritance, their land, in the year of Jubilee, the land was restored to them. The stewardship of the land. Remember when uh, Joshua came into the land of promise with the people of Israel? God led him to divvy up the land by tribes and by clans and by families and by individuals. They were responsible for that land. He was given to them in trust. But some of them were not good managers. Some of them, because of uh, circumstances beyond their control, lost their land. It was a bad place to be in in the ancient world. But on the year of Jubilee, that land was returned to its original steward. Some of them were even so poor, <laughs> even so poor, as to sell themselves into slavery. And on the year of Jubilee, all the slaves were set free as well. The year of Jubilee was a great and wonderful day. And God set it up for his people to remember what he had done for them and that they were just stewards of what he had given them. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, we read these words. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, the opening of the prisons to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion.